lot of pressure. Eagles trail by a point, 35-34. Goff under center with Gurley behind him. Motion to the far side. This time, back goes Goff again. He steps up. He's hit. The football is loose. Does it fight for the ball? The Eagles have it. A lot of pressure, and Chris Long comes around the horn. He's able to get a hand on Jared Goff to get the football out. As a white guy that grew up in a good community with a ton of resources in school, educational equity is not my problem, but that really shouldn't stop me from trying to help out. My wife and I have always looked at education as a great way to level the playing field in America. Our foundation is the Chris Long Foundation. The root of our work was with veterans, clean water, and now education most recently. That's something we've been kind of involved in for a while, but more focused in our efforts the past two years. So Pledge 10 was basically my entire salary last year, which wasn't you know, by NFL standards, a ton, but six game checks. We're going to scholarships in my hometown, and the rest were going to different programs in the three places I've played. That's Philly, Boston, and in St. Louis. When you're investing in youth, it's a really efficient way to change the country and change the world. And so I was super excited when I heard about this United Way program. Our organization is singularly focused now on interventions in the poverty rate in our region that is holding some of our neighbors back. Being able to read on grade level by the fourth grade is the most impactful intervention you can make in the life of an individual. This is just the beginning of our partnership, and partnering with Chris means more and more children in our region will have that opportunity. Read by Fourth is Philadelphia's grade level reading campaign. We're a collective of 130 partner organizations that are all working together to make sure that Philadelphia's children can read on grade level by the time they enter fourth grade. What we know is when children enter fourth grade behind in reading, they fall further behind in their education. Those children tend to be about four times less likely to graduate high school on time. When I heard the stats about literacy by fourth grade being a big marker for success beyond school, I was sold. And so first quarter for literacy, you know, it's a quarter of my game checks. Last year, we were kind of comprehensive in what we did. We worked with grade school children all the way through college. And this year, I kind of wanted to do something more pointed. How's it going? Good to see you again. What's going on? How are you? What's up? Good to see you. How's it going? What's up, Chris? How are you? Summer Search provides an opportunity for equity in our students' lives. They go on an outward bound type trip their first year after sophomore year of high school, and then kind of more of a cultural experience, community service experience the second year. Here at Summer Search, we want to unleash our students' potential through mentoring and through transformative experiences. We want them to be the best version of themselves. We want them to be leaders of tomorrow. We want them to be people like Chris Long to give back, use their platform, bring about change. The systemic nature of inequality in education is a major sin. Is it racism? Yes. Redlining? Yes. Is it economic disinvestment? Absolutely. I just don't think we invest enough in education in general. So we try to take a really comprehensive approach and really enjoyed working with Summer Search here in Philly. Academics is as much a marker of growth as it is the subject matter and the experience. So one of these experiences that a lot of kids in underserved communities are missing is like getting out and seeing the world. I'm talking to kids that went to Costa Rica to volunteer. They're learning about, you know, protecting our oceans. They're learning about teamwork, backpacking in the Delaware Valley. They're going to Colorado. Well, really what we're talking about is growing as a person. Like going on my trip at first, I was kind of like lost. Then when I came back, I had a plan. I was motivated. I knew who I was more. I knew that I wanted certain things in life and I kind of chased that after I came back from my trip. And it really, really motivated me. So I went to Costa Rica for two weeks. I did ocean preservation and I worked with like the land. I worked by the beach, picking up trash and just learning about how the trees and the land and everything connects back to the ocean and the water. You know, I've been very lucky. Football has given me a lot. And the reason why I've gotten involved with Summer Search, I was given a safety net that a lot of kids don't have. My dad didn't have a lot growing up. And then through football, he played 13 years in the league was able to give me that safety net. So I just feel like it's my responsibility to give back because the next 
Chris Long, I humbly say that, or the next somebody that invents something that, that's going to change the world, or the next community leader sitting right in this room. I, I believe that. And I wasn't the greatest student. And if I went back, I really wish I was a better student. So I really applaud you guys, and I applaud Summer Search. The coolest thing in the world is that you guys uh, just beat the odds continually in, in one of the toughest places to do it in that school. This school scares the hell out of me. <laughs> to me, it's education so is a social justice issue. If you go back to the idea that education is the way out of poverty, if education is really the beginning of opportunity, if we do not give children the skill they need to access that education, we are cutting them out of all sorts of opportunities. We need to make sure that as those conversations evolve in our country, that Philadelphians are at the table. What is your end goal? I think in general, sometimes, you just have to do the best you can to have a net positive effect on the world around you. You don't always have to see the result. You don't always have to track the result to know it was worthwhile. For somebody who doesn't have a platform, how could I, you know, change the community? You can be that spark that changes the world, and you just have to, again, work faithfully. If you change one person's life, that's enough. Your dollars, your support, your thoughts. There's a lot more than just me. We, we kicked it off and people really rallied, so I'm we'll keep it going. For that. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Keeps me going. Keeps me going. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here. The students are going to walk away not just seeing a football player, they're going to walk away seeing a humanitarian because the only way you can move folks out of poverty is the thoughtful ways in which we can advocate and in which we can support. And that's what Chris has demonstrated. My career has been kind of up and down as I've had my most individual success. I've been on teams that weren't having success and that can be a lonely place and you can doubt yourself and you can wonder, did I just waste my career? I'm sure there's kids out there that are sitting in tough situations like, I don't get another shot at this. You never know if you quit how close you are to your breakthrough. How many people get to change somebody's life, get to alter the course of somebody's life? You can do that. <laughs>